Scouter Stan here. Thank you for joining me today. I'll tell you what, one of the things that adult leaders have problems with is confiding in other adult leaders. One of the nice things about a commissioner, and I hope you have taken steps and got a commissioner, okay? You probably have a really good one, okay? It's okay to talk to them about anything going on within scouting and the troop or the pack. It's totally fine, okay? That's kind of their purpose, to be there for you as a resource. Now, a lot of them, uh, commissioners, will have training. Uh, our trainers, they know a lot about different things. I've been on wood badge staff. I've I've been there, done that kind of thing, okay? And my units know that they can come to me, and I will, I, and that's the thing about a commissioner. The unique thing about a commissioner is they don't prejudge. That's very important. So if you come to me and you're, you're, you don't know about something, say you're running a troop, and all of a sudden you get a strange phone call from somebody from the OA, you have no clue who that is, ask your commissioner. Your commissioner will help you know more about it and will clue you into what's going on there, why that youth called you as uh, the contact for your unit uh, for whatever reason. Same thing's true in Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts, they don't do OA, of course. But in Cub Scouts, uh, there might be something going on between leaders. Okay? Uh, and it's human nature. Okay? We're, we're, we're all humans. We're all trying to do our best, right? A work in progress. But we have to remind ourselves as adult leaders the scout oath and scout law are not just for the youth. They're for you, too. That's something to really think about. You should put that in your heart, okay? The scout oath and scout law are very important. And if you have it, then you have it to give, okay? So make sure that you, you think about that. Whenever there's a conflict within a unit between leaders or something going on that, that, that shouldn't be, okay? Uh, Unscout-like behavior. Think of it that way. Uh, these are catchwords, and there's tons of them out there, but um, that's something to think about. Um, your commissioner is your advocate, and they quite easily can come in and say, hey, you know, I know there's been some hurt feelings. There's some apologies on both sides. And, they are your advocate, okay? Go to them. They will help you out if you're having a conflict. Conflict resolution is big with the commissioner staff. We're there to help other other people uh, at all times. <laughs> so that's true for you too. As an adult leader, if you're having a difficulty communicating with your committee or uh, the advancement team or whatever's going on, you can easily have the commissioner come in and be a spokesman for you, okay? Um, sometimes things are said, and, uh, you know, to be more scout-like, uh, apologies, uh, forgiveness, that's one of those things that, that a commissioner can help you with. And um, that's something that we do as a commissioner. We, we help resolve issues so that the unit can benefit from your leadership as an adult. That's critical. That is super critical. So keeping that all in mind, please talk to your unit commissioner, uh, and they will help you in more ways than you think. So they can help you with a lot of different things, conflicts, um, scheduling, all that kind of stuff. That can be worked out, okay? A lot of the um, scout law and the scout oath are used. So keep that in mind. Put it in your heart. Think about it every day. Think about the scout oath and scout law every single day. That's something that everyone should think of in scouting, whether it be the youth or the adults, and even the professionals if you're listening. <laughs> 
I come from a family of professional scouters, so <laughs> they need to follow the scout up and scout law. And sometimes they just need a little reminder. That's all. So, till next time, I will see you on the trail.